Well, that a warm welcome once again to the Imola circuit on a beautiful sunny day. It's the 12th round of the World Superbike Championship 2009. This is going to be a big race, certainly in the lives of Ben Spees and Noriyuki Haga. Five races to go, the championship on the line. Away we go, great start for Fabrizio, but so too Haga gets away. Excellent run by Simoncelli on that first lap. He's come from ninth to six in one lap. Yeah, Simoncelli's right on the back of Ben Spees at the moment. Here's look another look at the move. He's done that easy. One. <laughs> He's done that easy. And he went with Spees, you know. He's right there. I would say Hag is in control of this race at the moment. And yeah, as I said, that he takes the lead. Definitely. Well, throughout the Simoncelli's years. fast Spees and Ray's on it too. Simoncelli up the inside. Nice move. And he doesn't fall off. <laughs> and the Italian goes through. Simoncelli has played his role. He played it well. And he's trying to catch his teammate on the Aprilia, Max Biaggi. And Fabrizio's going to challenge Haga for the lead. Well, I do declare. The Italian hits the front, and the championship's up in arms. I wish we could see Tad on his face to see what he thinks. Nail-bikingly close. Simoncelli, the new boy, so to speak. He makes a big mistake oh. and takes Spees wide. He's got to stay on now. Ben Spees gets back on track somehow, some way. To be fair, you know, Biaggi couldn't have done anything else. There he is, number 58, coming in for a one-off weekend. How impressive has he been in his first outing? But it's Michel Fabrizio of Bologna who takes the checkered flag, takes victory at home. Harder follows him home and takes the championship lead. Simoncelli will take an historic podium before he heads back home to MotoGP. In, in that chicane, I, I didn't want to, to pass him, but I break too hard and uh, um, I think or I, I keep uh, him and we crash or I try to, to pass. I, I success, I am very happy. Thanks to all. It's, uh, today it was a great experience for me. Unbelievable.